Eddie Money on the struggles of sobriety and how many people still want to party with him. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. This is part five of a seven parter of our exclusive conversation with Eddie Money. Sobriety is a difficult thing for most people, but Eddie said he's always surprised on how many people still want to rock and roll with him. Yeah, but when you got clean, Eddie, was it hard? Were there people still trying to bring you back in? Did you run into that problem when you got clean? I run into it all the time. If people today still want me to smoke a joint with them, I have a drink with them, and I just say, guys, I've had enough. I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up, give up ten years of sobriety because I was in a rigorous and honest program. I mean, and I'm not gonna turn around. And I guess I was kind of brainwashed, but you know, to me, I mean, getting sober. If I would have turned around and started getting loaded again, in other words, if you got 30 days and you clean and sober and you get a you get a 30 day chip, it means the world to you. And if you on the 32nd day you go out and you start drinking again, you know you're going to give up the time that you have. You know I've got nine years going on 10 years without drinking, without doing drugs, and uh, I'm not going to go back and, and start all over again. You know I just can't do that. You know. And I got nothing against people that drink and get loaded at my shows at all. And a lot of times when I'm t selling T-shirts out there and there's some people that are too high, I make sure that they get a ride home. I make sure I said, make this couple over here, we got to get them home. You know, I mean, I try to do everything I can. I don't want to see anybody go to jail for drinking and driving or getting loaded. But, you know, on the other hand, I do everything I can to, you know, to keep people as safe as possible, you know. I mean, I've had friends of mine that lost kids in automobile accidents when they were drunk. I've had friend, other friends of mine that had daughters and nieces that have OD'd on cocaine and OD'd on Oxycontin. I mean, you know, when you think of somebody, I mean, I got five kids and you start to talk to people your own age that have lost children, have lost nieces and nephews because of drug overdoses and because of alcohol and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's... Uh, it makes you think, you know. You gotta, yeah. you gotta do your best to be a good dad and and, and, a, and a good father. And, and I, I gotta, get, I gotta set a good example for people, man. And to me, it's important, you know. Eddie, do you think you'd be dead if you hadn't come clean? You think you, you think you wouldn't be around anymore? Well, I tell you the truth, I had that really bad drug overdose, and I almost died, which was horrible. I mean, I overdosed on fentanyl, which is the same thing that killed Tom Petty, it killed Prince. But this was like what thirty years ago, but. Uh, I mean, I've had a lot of ups and downs in my career, and uh, I mean, I'm sober now, and I take my wife to church on Sunday, and I do everything I can to take care of my children, and uh, I think that re that's a good reflection on the, t I think the TV show is very popular, because I don't think there's anything wrong with going out and knocking down the bed, we're sitting having a good time, and, but then again, when you're driving home, I don't want to see anybody out there driving back from my show in an orange jumpsuit, you know, I mean, I want to make sure that everybody gets home and is safe and sound, but I want people... I don't mock people that go out and get loaded to see my shows. I mean, I was loaded for years. When you left home, what was in your record collection? When you actually left home, what, what records did you leave behind that, that you were listening to? Do you remember those? Oh, yeah, man. I used to love, uh, you know, I used to love the Paul Butterfield band. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, like Leslie West and Mountain. I mean, you know, I was always a Beatles fan, and the kid, kid, I liked the Kinks and stuff like that. But, I mean, if you think about my record collection, I still got my old, I got my records that are like 50 years old. I still got a lot of them, you know. I used to like Mitch Ryder and Detroit Wheels. I know a lot of people from Windsor like them too, because from the, he's from the Detroit area. So uh, I always loved him. Mitch Ryder, you know, C.C. Ryder, Devil in the yeah. Blue, Blue Dress. You know, I used to like the Young Rascals, Good Loving, I Ain't Gonna Eat Out Your Heart Anymore. You know, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles. I mean, you know, really good music, you know that. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos, and visit our swag store. You can pick yourself up a nice Rock History Music t-shirt, sweatshirt, or mug. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.